Hey friends, welcome back to Summer Hill. Um, today I want to invite you to come along and join me as I remove all the Easter decorations. Um, we have an abundance of Easter eggs this year. So we're going to be putting away all the Easter eggs. And I don't know about you, but it seems like whenever I put up decorations from like holidays, a day or two later, I find something. So today I'm gonna show you kind of how I take down my decorations um, where I don't miss anything. And I'll be honest, disclaimer, I still miss something now and then. So <laughs> anyways, um, we're also going to talk about the paint color my daughter painted on her house, which is Shoji White by Sherwin Williams. I have fell in love with a new white color for the exterior of a home. So I wanted to share some pictures and videos of that and give you a little bit of paint knowledge on it, like light reflective value, the RBG, R, wait, RGB, wait, is it RBG? Anyways, we'll get to that. Um, and then just give you from a designer standpoint what I, what I think this color will do if you have stone or if you have brick, um, how it's going to look on your house. And then there was something, oh, I'm going, I bought a few new things for the front porch. So I thought you might like to join me as I put some new things on the front porch. So let's get started and do some fun things around the house today. Okay, so to start off, I want to kind of give you an idea of my strategy. And that is that I'm going to put everything on this table that is Easter. So I'm going to collect it all in one place and then I'm going to fill in spots that I've removed Easter um, and then we'll pack it up and put it in the attic. I doubt you'd be interested in that, so <laughs> I will leave that off. Um, and then I just put a new handle on the front door so we're gonna tidy up this space before we work on the porch. Okay, so let's start in what I call the rocking chair room. I'm gonna set you up over here so you can watch and we will um, start getting rid of all the eggs. Cause there's a lot of eggs in here. So everything up on this wall up here, I'm gonna keep, it all says spring enough that I can get away with it. you like one minute you think you have it all and then you find something here <laughs> here's more eggs in this little basket oh and this is another type of egg um, so I have these eggs and then I have plastic Dollar Tree eggs and then this is another kind of egg that has like gold on it. So we need another bag for them. Let me grab that. Let's see if we can carry all this. Okay, so there's no other stuff in the kitchen. Ah! I have one fixing to fall. <laughs> okay. Look. One trip. Is anyone else like me and you try to take everything in one trip? I do that all the time. Okay, so let's check out in here. Um, so what do we have? Oh, look at there. More Easter eggs. So let's put those up here on the table. And um, so this guy, I actually bought him for Easter, but I really kind of like him. So I'm going to leave him out for now. I think he might even be cute in the fall. I think he'd be cute in the fall. So everything on here is staying. Um, okay, we have something up here. 
These are the vintage eggs that I found, the antique eggs. So we're gonna put them on the table here. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this up. Okay, so I think we have everything off of here. Nothing else down there. All right, so this piece that I put up here, I knew would work possibly even all year. So it could be like evergreen, meaning like an evergreen plant or an, is it perennial? Perennial, you know, like a perennial decoration. We might've come up with a new term. Um, okay, so I see more eggs down here. I cannot point backwards. When I am working on this, <laughs> it's hard for me to point backwards. So it's right there. So we're gonna move those eggs. Um, but the rest of this room, I do have bunnies up here. I'm going to keep them for now. Um, and then I do have a bunny right over here. Here, I'll show you. I have this bunny. And when I put him here, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I might keep him. But then again, I might be getting too many bunnies. So we may move him later. But we're going to go get these eggs because they scream Easter, right? <laughs> And then I think we'll remove him. Okay. All right. Okay, we're definitely, definitely getting rid of that and these eggs. Um, I just saw something else. I think we're going to eliminate this bunny that had flowers. <laughs> we're gonna go get those. Okay, and um, there's a bunny over here that we're gonna eliminate. Can you see him? I love this thing. I found this at, um, where was it? Home Goods, years ago. And he is so fun. I mean, look, the little Easter eggs in his basket and his apron. And he stands up. Such a fun find. Home Goods and TJ Maxx and Marshalls and all that, they're kind of like thrift shopping, but for new stuff. You know what I mean? Like you go in and you just never know what you're going to find. And they have unique pieces and they have high end pieces at cheaper prices. Okay, so I'm going to walk around and I'm going to grab anything else that just says Easter. And this guy is going in the attic. And this is my printable. This is on our Etsy shop. Um, so if you're new here, my daughter and I have an Etsy shop full of printable art and other things. Um, and this one, we will change the name for you. So you can um, purchase it. It's like under $5. They're so cheap. And just let us know what you want, what name you want here. Or one lady changed it to farm. So it was like Martin Farm. And we can do that too. And we can change the date. So um, so we got to figure out a new printable to put in the butler's pantry here. Okay, so I think I have everything on the table that was Easter. So now what I'm going to do is finish putting the eggs in the bags. And then I'll move all this up into the attic. Um, and then I'll need to get a new printable. See what I mean? I have the hardest time pointing backwards. Um, a new printable for here. So this piece here used to be on this piece of furniture. So let's, um, you know what? Let's decide where we're going to put it. So I just got distracted because... If you're new here, we have a cat named Kit, and he parties all night, and he sleeps all day. And he sleeps like a baby. I mean, he sleeps in the most contorted and creative ways. And I just walked in, and he's sleeping in one of his funny ways, so I thought you guys might like to see. I 
I'm just like, how does he sleep like that? But we woke him up. Did we wake you up, buddy? Are you gonna say hello? Huh? Is it time to, no, it's not time to wake up. Say, when you party all night, you gotta sleep all day. Yeah, that rascal. So, we're trying to find a place for this fall. And, um, I really like this piece of art down here, but I really feel like this bowl has more space. Aha, down there. Can y'all see that? I'm not sure you can see that. I will show you in just a minute. But I need something right here, so definitely this bowl right here would be pretty. I like that. So this piece of art, this old piece of art, I need to find a place for it. And since I don't have anything on this shelf, I'm going to rearrange these books and put it on this end. to kind of give that more designer look. So, okay, so here you're layering these books in front of this piece of art. But, the, but one of my challenges I'm noticing with this is that it's almost like there's too much this direction. So let's, so what I usually do is I back off and I look at it and I decide, is it too much? Do I need to eliminate? And to be honest, there's a blue book on here and he's just not cutting it, so I'm going to definitely pull him out because he doesn't like blend in. He's too blue. That's much better. I got rid of one book, got rid of the color blue, and it's much better. So I think I got my problem solved. So I'll show you how it all looks on the shelf now. you're wondering what do I do with books that don't fit in um, if I can't get a book to fit in I put it in my studio some people call it an office um, so I'll show you my studio back here in this part of my house and it is a work in studio so it is not the prettiest place in the world but I have a lot of books up here that I pull from when I'm working on projects and then I have some up here so this book would fit perfect on this shelf for now. Okay, so now I've got to clean up because I put a new doorknob on here. Okay, so I got this rug to go on the front porch. Um, and I've got to do a lime wash on the pot because the pot on the front porch has a lime wash. So um, after I eat lunch, we're going to lime wash the pot and put some begonias on the front porch with my other plants. And if you're new here, I'll show you around the front porch. Okay, so um, I got this pot at Hobby Lobby. You can get these anywhere. Actually, I think this has a, oh, I thought it had a crack. <laughs> Um, but it's a terracotta pot, and a while back I did a lime, lime wash technique on the pot on my front porch, but that pot was plastic. So this time I'm going to do lime wash on terracotta. And then I bought this really pretty begonia from Trader Joe's. Can you see? I'm not sure if you can see, but it has like touches of pink on the ends. It's so pretty. So, um, so it's going to go in this pot, but I'm going to have to put something in the bottom, like some styrofoam to hold it up. But, um, but I have a whole video like walking you through the steps and I'll put a link in the description to that. But for now, I'm just going to put on some nice music and you guys can watch me, um, lime wash this one.
coming and getting some of this uh, material. So every day I have to come in here and just kind of lift it up and fluff it up because they're picking pieces to make their nests. Okay, so I found this at Hobby Lobby and I thought this is a really neutral like color that would be pretty kind of an evergreen or what, what did we call it earlier when, I, when something doesn't go out of style all year? Um, perennial. <laughs> this is a perennial decoration. It's a good time to dust off your um, doormats. I got this doormat at Kirkland's and I just noticed I still have the tag on it. <laughs> so that works. And then this is what I had for Christmas. So I'm going to put it up for now. We'll see if we like this better, but it looks like I need to go get the flower. share with you first what I've changed because you were watching me but you're probably not 100% sure what I've changed. I have added this small pot down here, this begonia, and I did a lime wash on that pot. Um, I still have to spray that pot with a sealer um, to seal it so that it won't come off because it will come off. And in fact, I didn't seal the big pot very good, so I got to redo it and seal it again. So definitely get a good outdoor quality sealer for that. But, but I found this begonia at Trader Joe's and it's so pretty. It has like a little bit of pink on its petals. And then I just basically sat it down in the terracotta pot that I lime washed. Um, and this will make it easy for me just to lift it up out of the pot take it over and water it and then put it back. Um, so, so what is also new is this rug underneath my doormat. I found this in, at Hobby Lobby and it's a great size for this space. So, and it's neutral, so it doesn't, it can kind of flow all year long, literally, or I can change out to something as the holidays come. Um, so, the other thing that's new is this doorknob. And this doorknob is by Montana Forge, but it's very pretty. I like the coloring, it's a champagne gold. And I also like this little, this little swoop here. It just kind of reminds me of like French, which I was going for kind of a, a European, uh, French or English cottage look out here. So I have a plum tree. If you haven't seen my pretty previous videos, again, it's just sitting in this pot with some other plants that are sitting in the pot. So I can easily remove them and plant out in the yard at some point. And then over here is the same plant that's in the pot. Um, and, and you saw me putting them back cause I just watered them and they kind of bloom off and on. Um, they're not, producing flowers at this very moment, but like literally a few days from now, they'll have flowers, so you just never know. And then on my cute little starving dog, <laughs> I just added some dogwood flowers. These are artificial. Uh, I'm gonna look, keep my eyes open at Trader Joe's for a tiny little plant that can go in his pot. So that's just temporary to kind of fill in until then, but this is how it looks.
now let's go inside and I'll show you the other side of the doorknob. I really, I really like the inside. Um, so on this doorknob, it, I asked for the gold, uh, the gold. <laughs> I asked for a crystal handle. I just love crystal handles. Um, they also sent this one unit back plate, which at first I was like, hmm, I'm not sure. I mean, it really stands out, but I definitely like whimsical. I like cottagey. I like things that have an old feel to them. And I felt like the more I started living with this, that it definitely has that old feel. Um, and I love this egg-shaped uh, piece up at the top that locks the lock on the door. And it, it's really smooth. It has a nice finish to it. So I definitely like this doorknob. To share with y'all. Um, I recently did some thrifting and I came across this tiny little brass candlestick holder and it was really, really dark, real dingy. So I used um, a little bit of Barkeeper's Friend and I cleaned it up. So now it's, it's more shiny. It does have some corrosion in it, but I actually like things like that. I feel like it gives it that old world look. Okay, so last, I thought I would take a minute just to talk about Shoji White. And this is such a great color that I have recently learned. This color has been around for many years, I'm sure. But for some reason, I have not come across this color in the past. I've not used it with any clients. Um, my daughter actually brought it to my attention. And um, these are the things that I really like about it. It is a fantastic white color for your exterior. And the reason why is this is if you do not want a really bright white exterior, and that is a, a popular thing. Like if you, there are some people that love that crisp, white, bright, white exterior. But if you're, but if you love white, but you're not loving that bright white look, then you're gonna love Shoji White. Its light reflectance value is 74, I believe, um, which it goes up to 100. So your whitest whites are 90 to 100. And then when you get to that 70 to 80 range, you're kind of getting more into the off-white range. So this is a beautiful off-white color, but when you put it on the exterior, it reads white, just not bright white. And here's an example of my daughter's house so you can see how beautiful it is up against her brick. Um, I think personally as an interior designer that this is a easy color to match with any brick, any stone, any other color like your shutters and things like that. Um, she has brick, major parts of brick on her exterior, and then she has all white on her porch except for the decking. So this was a, I, I think she nailed it when she picked this color. It's absolutely beautiful. She did a good job. So um, other things you can do with this is bring it on your interior. It has a really nice contrast with white because remember, it is not white white, it is an off white. So if you're paint it, let's say you're building a house and you want a color that's gonna match everything. The builder says you get one color on your walls, pick a color, it has to match everything. Consider this color. If you have, if you do not have a lot of natural light, uh, meaning a lot of windows with a lot of light coming in, this is gonna make your interior feel larger, but yet give you some contrast with a white, white trim of like extra white or alabaster, um, which are two other really great colors. So, so that's what I wanted to share with you was our first review of Shoji White um, by Sherwin-Williams, and it is, I give it a five star in the white family for exterior, um, for sure. It's a great exterior color, and I think you'll like it very much and won't go wrong um, using this color. So, 
Well, that was a full day's work right there. All those projects that I had planned today, it took up my whole day. Um, and I'm so glad you guys were here to join along with me on uh, cleaning up all the Easter stuff and uh, sharing with you a new white color to me. I love this color. I'm definitely going to be using it for myself and for clients. Um, and then helping me put the new things on the front porch. That was a lot of fun. Um, getting to lime wash another pot. I've actually never lime washed a terracotta, so that was fun. And it turned out really pretty. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you are having a great day. If you are new here, please subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on future episodes. And I will see you soon. Bye. Bye.